Hello everybody, I'm Crystal, head of community at Boto, and today I'm going to go through how to set up an automation that will alert you every time that an NFT from a certain collection is listed on OpenSea under the sales floor for that collection. We'll start by taking a quick look at the recipe. The recipe is a little bit involved though. So what we're going to do primarily in this video is actually reconstruct the recipe so you can understand how it all comes together and customize it as you wish. Let's take a look at the recipe. What you want to start off doing on the Boto dashboard is go to the recipes page. And then when you're searching, type in listings below. And there's the fresh new recipe that I just put together. And when you click try now, you will see the recipe right in front of you. So let's zoom out because this is a big one. Let's close out this. All right. This looks like a lot, but let me break it down for you. What you're seeing here is basically an open sea listings block right here. And what we do is we feed that into a filter that looks at whether the price is below the floor. And it gets that floor from the IC Tools NFT collection stats block. And that pulls in the seven day floor, that is the sales floor. So the lowest price that an NFT in that collection has sold at over the past seven days. So both of those blocks feed into this filter. This one will trigger whenever there is a listing and then the filter will check to see if the price that it's listed for is below the seven day floor as noted by IC tools. If that condition is met, it moves on to the next step. So here I've split it up into two different filters. What will often happen is when you set an alert to tell you when the, the listing is below the floor price is sometimes you'll get listings that are listed for zero. And those are a little unique because that's usually done with a reserve. Um, so you might want to separate those out and create a separate alert for those, or you might want to ignore those altogether. If you do want to have an alert for those, what you do is just set up a filter that has the price equal zero and then build your alert block after that. I have an email alert block set up here and that just will denote that a certain NFT was listed for zero, the price of zero. But going back to when it's not zero, the flow you, you will want there is to have a filter that has the price over or greater than zero. And from there, you'll feed into another block that is the calculator. So what this equation does is it calculates the percentage that the price is below the floor. And this is totally optional. You could completely skip this and not care about the percentage. You only want to see just an alert when the price is below um, the floor. But if you do want to track a percentage, like let's say you want to see when something is listed at at least 5% below the floor price, this can be pretty useful. And so what you do is you'll have the calculator calculate the percentage and then you add another filter which tells, um, which tells this automation that you only want alerts when the percentage is bigger than a certain number. So we set that threshold at five for 5%. That way, when you get an alert, it's only when it's more than 5% below the floor price. And here I have it set up in an alert as an email, but you can do that with Discord, you can do that with Telegram, you can do that with Slack. But generally, there are three values that you'll want to pull into the alert, which is the listing price from your OpenSea listings block that in my bot is number 12, then the floor bot, which is um, the calculated result feeding from the both the listings bot and the IC tools block, and then the seven day floor just from the IC tools block. And there you go. You will get an alert whenever that happens. 
So really the simplest way to set this up, if you really just wanted to keep it super duper simple is to just, let's see, connect this over to this and let's pretend we want to delete, 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 delete. And then what you'll have is just an alert whenever the NFT in that collection is listed below floor price. And it will just tell you what the floor price is, what the ETH price is, and whatever else you decide to include in the alert. One thing you'll want to keep in mind is when you have the um, anything listed in the alert. So let's zoom in here. You can always control the number of decimal points that you get there by clicking on this little gear icon. And I usually put one or two decimal points, especially if it comes to a percentage, but you might want to go to three if you're looking at price and the prices are pretty low relative to one ETH. The other thing that you'll want to keep in mind is that this, this automation won't trigger very often. So the more filters that you set up, the less often this filter will, this um, bot will trigger. And so you might want to set a pretty generous threshold to start with just to make sure it's working properly. And you might also want to include those zeros in here, like the recipe has just to make sure that those are coming through. And so you can make sure that the automation is working properly because like I said, it doesn't happen very often. So this is the kind of thing that when it does happen, you want to jump all over it. But since it doesn't happen very often, you're just not going to be able to see this bot fire off and make sure that you have the setup correct. So try and be generous when you first set it up and give it a lot of chances to fire, like set that percentage at, um, let's say like 0.5% and see how that goes. And then you can optimize it and adjust it later once you know that it's working to your liking. So I hope you've enjoyed this breakdown of this recipe and can customize it to your liking. If you have any questions, just jump into our Discord or email us info at boto.io. You'll also often see this little chat icon here in the lower left corner. So you can always chat with us. Usually we're online um, at different time zones. And if not, you can leave your email address and we'll circle back with you. And if you're enjoying these tutorials, um, please subscribe to Boto's channel and give us a like. And we always appreciate that.